Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today I'm very excited to give you a demo of a feature that we just released. It's now generally available. Um, and it is the support for Miracast on RoomOS 11 devices. Now, what is Miracast? Well, Miracast is part of the Wi-Fi Alliance and it is a industry standard in regards to being able to cast to something. Uh, in this case, it would be the room devices uh, or the desk devices that we have. And, um, it allows you to send high quality, high definition audio, video um, to a device. And the, one of the cool things about it is, is that it's actually something that's uh, built into Windows, for example. Uh, so there's no additional software required or needed. It just works out of the box. Uh, there are some Android devices that also support it uh, kind of natively. And then um, when you look at Apple devices, it's a little bit different story. Uh, they prefer, and they kind of, you know, use their own AirPlay for their casting method, uh, which you're probably familiar with. But there is the capability of adding Miracast capabilities to an Apple device. It just requires some third-party software. But what we're gonna do in this video is just quite simply show you how to enable it and how you would cast from your laptop PC um, to one of our devices. So let's get to the demo. So what I have here is on the upper left hand corner, we've got the screen of my Kodak Pro. Uh, I actually have it in personal mode, that's why it's got my name. And on the right hand side, you have got the uh, room navigator. Down below is my uh, laptop over here, uh, which is running Windows 11. And let's just go ahead and show you how you get started. So if you'll see here on the navigator in the upper right hand corner, we have got uh, this uh, icon that is kind of the, the settings icon. So when I click on it, It'll bring up my control panel, and I'm going to go down to the bottom and hit device settings. From here, I'm going to scroll down to the screen and video uh, section, which is right here in the middle. And you'll notice that there is the Miracast uh, menu right there. I'm going to click on it. And this is going to bring you to a, a menu which just allows you to enable or turn on Miracast. Now, if you look over in the upper left hand corner of the display, you'll see the AirPlay icon is there. Um, and that's just a little teaser. We'll be doing a video showing you how to do that as well. So AirPlay is enabled on this device, but Miracast is not. When I hit my button to enable it, quite quickly you'll see that the Miracast icon will come up on the Codec Pro, letting me see visually that Miracast is enabled and broadcasting on this device. So now that we have it enabled, let's uh, switch our view again, and let's go over here to our Windows uh, PC, sitting right here. And of course we've got the, uh, the, the uh, Codec Pro sitting up here, uh, hovering above as well. Now, if you're in Windows, there's a couple things you can do. You can use the Windows key K to bring up a cast menu as kind of a shortcut. Um, or you can click down on your menu bar and you will see an icon that says cast. Now, when I click on that, first thing you'll see is right off the bat is the Codec Pro and it's under my name. So it's kind of matching, letting me know that uh, this is the device that I wanna um, you know, connect to. There could be other Miracast devices around. So we're gonna use the system name. In this case, it's my system, so it's Dustin Baker, and it's just letting me know it's the Codec Pro. If it was a shared room system, it would say whatever the shared room um, system's name was. So this does work in personal mode, so Desk Pro, Desk, uh, does also work on uh, Room Series, running Room OS 11 as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this to be able to uh, connect. And one of the first things you'll see is that the device will pop up for a pin code. Now this is a security feature that just allows you to make sure that you're um, uh, you know, connecting to the right device, just like uh, an Apple TV when you use AirPlay, etc. But I'm going to go ahead and put this code in. And we'll see here it's 5364615. And then I'm going to hit connect. So this is connecting to the display right now. And what you'll see is, is I've got these set to mirror. And as you can kind of see in this little window right here, everything I'm doing is essentially being duplicated uh, onto the, uh, uh, the screen. Now I'm doing a virtual screen here, so there's a little bit of lag, but that's just part of uh, the virtual part of it. But if, as I'm looking over here, there's hardly any latency at all on the actual device. Um, it provides high quality. We could stream videos. We could do, um, uh, we could do, uh, you know, audio casting, whatever you wanted to do. You could also set this up as a secondary display. So if you didn't want to, you could come up here to change your projection mode um, and you could change it to extend if you wanted to, uh, or, or you could do it to duplicate. Um, 
whatever you need to do. Now I'm kind of in a weird scenario right now because I actually have a third screen over here, which is a, a laptop. Um, but um, in this particular case, I definitely have my HDMI out and my uh, Kodak Pro uh, mirroring each other. So you can see that it's just quite as simple as that. Now, for me to get rid of this, um, there's a couple things that I can do. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is go back to my other scene so I can show you this. So here you see bottom right is my laptop, upper left is that main screen of my Kodak Pro, mirror images of each other. But if you come over here to my uh, navigator on the upper right, if I hit the share screen button, you'll see that I've got Miracast here. And I can do this one of two ways. I can stop sharing from the navigator, or if you see on my um, uh, display up here, uh, I've got the disconnect button from Windows. So either one will actually work. In this particular instance, I'm gonna stop from the, uh, oops, get my <laughs> menu thing coming up there. I'm gonna hit stop sharing, and just like that, Everything goes back to normal. I've got my codec display again, and I've got my Windows machine. So I hope this was a quick and easy demo, and I uh, hope that you're as excited as we are about providing this capability. Um, so if you have a device now that is on Room OS 11, you can enable Miracast today. Uh, so all the desk series and board series will have it available. Uh, you can also uh, enable it if you're in the Room OS 11 beta for room systems, those would also be supporting this and you could do it there as well. One thing to note is right now we actually have a current restriction where the device has to be physically wired to the network in order for Miracast to work. And the reason for that is, is with Miracast you have a uh, wireless beacon that's essentially using the, the wireless uh, radio that we have in our devices. Uh, and with that wireless radio, it actually creates a, a mini Wi-Fi access point to where those uh, uh, two devices can communicate directly with each other. The advantage of this is, is that you don't have to be on the same network. So if you're a customer and you don't want to have to be on the company uh, network that uh, you're visiting, you can still do the Miracast. Because of this, using that Wi-Fi radio, we're wanting to provide the best quality and the best uh, kind of uh, environment for this for whenever you're on a call. So when you're on a call, for example, um, you will have your call go through your network cable and that will leave all the bandwidth available on your Wi-Fi radio for your sharing, which you can also do inside a call. So one thing to note there is that, um, and then also another thing to note would be that it does require the Wi-Fi radio It's part of the uh, standards. So if you have a non-radio version device, it will not work. So another thing that I kind of want to mention is another caveat. So I hope you like this. If you got any questions uh, or concerns or anything, just comment down below. Obviously subscribe. Uh, we've got a lot more videos coming out and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.